Hey there, Squarespacer, Becca here from Inside the Square, and in this video, you'll learn how to create a floating mobile navigation for your Squarespace website. The code from today's tutorial has two different parts. The first part creates this effect for the header of your website. We're going to pull it away from the edges and add a little bit of a shadow so it floats on top of the page content, no matter how far down the page you happen to scroll. The second part of this code creates a similar effect for your open mobile menu. So when you're looking at the mobile menu, again, we'll pull it away from the edges and give it a shadow so it floats on top of the page content. All of the codes from today's tutorial are available for free on my blog at insidethesquare.co. But before you head over there to grab those codes, let me share my screen with you to teach you exactly how to use them and how to make these codes uniquely yours. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace, and the codes we're working with today affect the mobile version. So on the top right hand side of the screen, I'm going to click on this icon to open up our mobile view. Now on the left hand side of the screen, let's navigate to CSS to add our code. I'm going to select pages, then custom code, then custom CSS. If your menu doesn't look like mine, press the forward slash key on your keyboard to search for your CSS panel so you can navigate there directly. Now that we're here, I'll zoom in on the screen and paste the code from this tutorial and check it out. Instantly, we're seeing some changes happen here. This first part of the code right here is telling the computer that the next part of the code should only happen on mobile screens. It's very important to leave that there, okay? Now, if you want this to work on tablets, change 767 to something larger, like 950px. Personally, I prefer just mobile screens to have this effect, so customize that part of the code as you see fit. Now, after that, we've added a margin to pull the header away from the edges, the top, the left, and the right. I also added a border radius to kind of curve those corners a little bit. If you want 90 degree corners, just remove that part of the code like this, and you'll keep that margin and all of the other fun stuff, but you'll remove that curve. I'll go ahead and place that code back because I like that part. After that, we've said overflow hidden. Go ahead and leave that part where it is. But next we have box shadow. This is what's creating the shadow effect that lifts the header off of the page. If you adjust this value to something larger, like 0.5, you'll see the shadow increases in intensity. Let's go ahead and move that back down to 0.2 for this example. After that, we've said position fixed. This is going to make sure that your header stays at the very top of the page, no matter how far down the page someone scrolls. An important part of this code. We also have Z index 9999. That's going to make sure it stays at the very top of the screen. Now, if you don't want this to be visible on a scroll, just remove that part of the code and you'll see we have to go all the way back up the top to find our header. Keeping that header visible has been important for a lot of the sites that I've worked on, so I prefer to leave it position fixed with that Z index keeping it at the top layer. This part of the code that says page, position relative, Z index 1, that's what's going to keep the page content underneath the header. So I strongly recommend leaving it if you want it to be visible at the top of the page no matter how far down someone scrolls. All right, now let's talk about what's next, and that is the floating mobile menu itself. When we click on this icon to open the mobile menu, you can see that it's now floating on top of the page. We've done the same thing that we did above, where we gave it a margin, pulling it away from the edges. We gave those corners a curve with a border radius. We said overflow hidden, and again, we have a box shadow. Just like we saw above, change this last value in the box shadow if you want to increase that intensity, super customizable and totally up to you. After you've made all the adjustments you want to this code, select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. Underneath this video, you'll find a link to my blog post that has all of these codes available for free, so you can copy and paste them into your own Squarespace website and customize them to make them uniquely yours. I'm Becca from Inside the Square, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and let me know in the comments. And if you have any questions about Squarespace, let me know in the comments. I'd love to help. Thanks so much for watching, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. Good news, Squarespacer. We finally have an AI that truly understands Squarespace. Meet Custom Cody. Built specifically for Squarespace users and trained on every nuance of the program, Custom Cody is your AI-powered assistant for effortless expert-level Squarespace customization. Available now at customcody.com.